Anyway, uh, the next section, reproductive freedoms. Uh, Trump's important court appointees overturned Roe vs. Lee and moved in a fundamental uh, constitutional right in denying women access across the nations their right to choose. The extreme act of overturning Roe, was, which has been in the law of the land for nearly half a century, has already had devastating consequences nationwide. Over the past two years, more than 20 states have imposed extreme dangerous abortion bans, and many of which include a no exception and for even for rape and incest. Uh, to put the lives of women in, in jeopardy, uh, force like women to travel like miles for like care, and then threaten criminal doctors, um, threaten to criminalize doctors for providing health care for their patients in need and that they are trained to protect to provide. Laws that like limited access to contraception and to the federal treatment like IVC, uh, IVF, uh, laws that like were first adopted in the 1980s. I'm not going to talk too much about this because many people have already talked about this well too. Uh, maybe maybe people argue that like no, it still needs to be like talking about that and talk about that nauseum. But I'm not going to criticize the Democrats for that too because like I'm saying that they're actually right about all this thing too. And all these other things is horrible, and it's like just terrible for like medical practitioners because they it, it, these kind of like uh, laws, abortion laws, have like restrict their ability to be able to treat patients. Coming, some women to be die or end up having to be like infertile because like they have to basically like give birth to their stillborn babies, even though there's no way for those babies to be viable, and normally they would like abort those babies. Or do a process of one too, oh, but like the happen forcing them to give birth to like babies that weren't going to survive could they also have like the other terrible impacts like um like causing like people with wombs to be infertile. I should say people with wombs, not just like women, because it's not just like women that like uh, deal with reproductive like issues, because it's also like trans men and non-binary people as well too. Uh, continuing on, more than one in three women of reproductive age and more than half of black women and 40% of Latin, uh, Latinas now live under an abortion ban. Today, our daughters have like fewer rights than our grandmothers. Uh, President Biden and Vice President Harris and the Democrats are fighting to restore the reproductive rights and for every woman's right. I would still criticize the Democrats for like not enshrining uh, those like laws when they have the power to do so. So that's why my friend Tavity Wolf says that the Democrats are, are basically doing a racketeering scam or like a production scam, like the mafia. Hey, you going to give us our votes and money for us to run elections or else bad things going to happen. But they don't do anything about the bad things happening anyway. Or at least they haven't and they don't do the most they can do to prevent the bad things happening. Bad things still happen even though people are voting for them. Continue on. President Biden signed three executive orders in the presidential moratorium to stand up for reproductive rights. Uh, the administration is protecting access to abortion, including by creating a new path for pharmacies to dispense FDA-approved medication and abortions for, and defending and access in court. It is expanding reproductive, like, well, I just want to quickly say that many of those, like, court cases that come in, in front of, like, the Supreme Court have just been, like, laughably bad that, like, e they have not been able to, like, do that sort of thing as well, too. Or at least in some cases, they have not been able to. So even though they're trying to, they're not being successful as well, too. It's just a clusterfuck of, like, uh, several things that are happening in the court systems. Anyway, continue on. It is expanding reproductive health care for service members, veterans, and their families. And that is one thing that they can do, they have the power to do, since they have, like, uh, the uh, military is kind of like on their federal laws or federal registration as well too so they have a federal like executive uh orders that can like now can um uh they're trying to write for sorry about that Vanna Road versus way Trump has like made it clear is his position yeah I know even though I'm sure sure that Trump uh, paid for like the abortions of his mistresses before as well too as have many like the Clintons have um I still like don't think the Democrats like do this done as much as they can to do so, but like we'll see. I I, I know that like it's for sure that like the uh, Trump will be like worse in that some cases as well too, but like I don't know so uh, don't have like faith in the Democrats will be better. 
But to continue on, the administration is the defending access to emergency medical care, including like clarifying that uh, the federal law on emergency care uh, prevents like state abortion bans. At least it should. Uh, education the uh, patients on their rights, uh, making it easier for patients who have uh, been uh, denied emergency care to like file a complaint, ensuring hospitals meet their like legal obligations to offer care. It is challenging threats from like, Republicans to like prosecute people who help women travel to like a different state for abortion care and helping the state expand and like but it, it expand access on their Medicaid for like women who travel from like states with like bans. You know. I think you and I, a, a biggest debate is what can uh, two people uh, uh, like you uh, do uh, to make an effective change. I'm, I'm trying to parse that how you word that, Kirok. Um, so what? To, so what do people can do simply do to make a change, affect the change? Here's actually, like, you know, I remember this. And like when like uh, once he tries Patreon hangout, uh, when uh, the overturn in a row happens, uh, Joe McClure basically said, if you're helping the people with access to reproductive care, like basically helping them stay at your house, your place of live where you live, if you live in like a state that allow abortions to happen, and someone's coming in from out of state, from state where the abortions are being banned. You just don't say anything or don't like publicly say that you're doing so keep it secret as well too um keep it a secret that you're like helping others get access to abortion as well too i remember and this happened off stream but like cmac had a they had issues about like that statement being made because to cmac he was like but we're not there yet are we so unfortunately for cmac who's liberal it, and this is my issue with some liberals, is that like they do not see how far gone this like country has been, how authoritarian this country is. I think I think like uh, CMAC who likes to still honestly operate in a fantasy, live in a fantasy that we are that we don't have a terrible fascist country now. Uh, it could be if, like, Trump wins, basically. But, like, he doesn't like the feeling that, like, people have to be secretive about what they're doing because it's almost like they're trafficking the Jews, essentially, or trafficking Jews to keep them safe from the Nazis. It's, same, it's similar to what we're doing for people who are seeking reproductive rights or, like, are seeking abortions when they're coming from, like, states where this, uh, abortion has been banned. Uh, but I think Jerome McCord is right. It's like, that's what have people assume. I mean, I want to, like, just, I'm not pro-choice, I'm pro-abortions. I'm just poor abortions. Everyone should be able to get abortions if they, they want to. Roe versus Wade was a good compromise in that as well, too, and, and effective enough as well, too. But even with Roe versus Wade being in the state, there was, like, several states that were, like, a, putting in a lot of restrictions on, like, abortion clinics. Or clinics that like provide abortions, or even make laws where it's like the doctor has to like legally say this, that, and another thing. I mean, even though the doctor can give, if I can give my political opinion, and that's what, if I can give my own personal opinion on these sort of things, so this is all just like made up stuff that like made us up, and it's not true at all. But I legally have to say this. Hmm. John Over and last week tonight had like um. I did a thing, a whole thing about that, but even with like Roe vs. Wade being and uh was still being in place, uh, abortion access was being like uh very restricted. Uh, why why do you fucking care if we finally agree on something, Kirok? Uh, well, let me ask that question. Why why do you measure anything so by some like the things that we agree on? Do you feel like it, the the do you feel like a sense of accomplishment that we agree upon the trying to find things that we agree upon? Or do you just want to like feel like you're not like a terrible person based on like there are some things we agree on? So it's more important for people to feel good. I think I'm here to come in here to just uh, argue with you. I kind of want to like point out the differences and press on those differences as being a political agitator. Because Kirok, I do have a problem 
with people defending capitalism or thinking capitalism is okay. Hey, I want to fight against that. I want to dismantle capitalism. And I'm in concern if people like you are going to prevent me from like a, uh, but okay, Kira, are, you going to, are you going to prevent me or others like me that want to dismantle capitalism? Are you going to prevent us from doing that? Because I'm still going to fight on things that I'm passionate about that, like, even if we disagree on something. Uh, where was I? Yeah, okay. I, I have this, like, um... Okay, I'm just going to start reading. What power do I have not to prevent you from? I'm concerned if you if you or others like you would prevent that as well too. That's my thing, Kirok. I I because like after a, like a heated discussion I had on like C Chai said Patreon and the member hangout years ago with Serious Mind. whereas I pushing towards are the differences that in Serious Mind and I have because he's a liberal. He's a capitalist. He's a small business owner. He wants to turn his small business into an enterprise. So he wants to profit off of like the surplus value of like thousands and thousands of workers, while he only has a huge handful of as well as is right now. But he wants to still have the position power to profit off of like thousands and thousands of workers. He said to me, "Hey, Summer Geek, you and I want the same thing. We want the better world." I wish I said to him, "No, you don't." No, you and I do not want the same thing. In concept, we want the same thing as a better word. Hello, oh, Zal, how over there on YouTube? How are you doing? In concept, you and I want the vague, broad sense of the same thing of a better world. But how we go about it is vastly different. And Captain Susie said, capitalism is broken and does nothing but harm those who like it, uh, live under it. And it's like very a planet that we live on. And also with capitalism has a, it needs a underclass a underclass that is not business owners in order to like for function uh zell over on youtube said like dismantling capitalism is destroying it at uh, all at once and like leave people without means it's the means to like try and do like steps in order to like help those in need yeah that's, my, that's right now it's kind of like my approach i wish i could like do more practice in order to like help facilitate that by like building like mutual aid and like organizations or like uh security and communities by like helping communities lift up the communities and lifting up members of the communities and having them all thrive because like building those like uh, systems to synthesis and mutual aid and other like organization or radically utilizing like workplaces like my workplace and other workplaces fall too that can we can build the system to challenge capitalism and to the point that hopefully that like if there's a time for it to be dismantled we can then like dismantle capitalism because and live without it we have to like build some uh, we have to build reliant uh resilient systems and not rely on capital or state because capital state will not help us, will not defend us. The capital and state are not going to help us. They won't. Um, by the way, Harris wants to like improve situation for small business owners. Because Harris is a capitalist. Yes. I'm not surprised that Kamala Harris wants to improve situation for small business owners because like Harris does not want to challenge the system of capitalism at all, and neither does the Democrats. Again, the Democrats are a center right to right wing party because they're a bourgeoisie party. There are the there are the political elites that are serving the economic elites. There are the party that serves the bourgeoisie. Indeed, it doesn't um any of those that are poor in order to like function because those at the top are the ones that like make uh, capitalism be a thing at all. The ancient uh, ones, the billionaires in the world. Oh, why? Oh, uh, how did billionaires get to be existed? Kirok, you just want to treat the system of their the billionaires, exist, uh, billionaires existing and not like uh, uh, treat the problem that create billionaires exist. Capitalism create billionaires. Is and I and no Kirok. The uh, a, a able-bodied people who think that society owes them and a free living. I want a free living for everyone, including every bodily people. You think that's a major enemy, and that's we will never agree on. Is hey, but why restrict the resources? Period. Anyway, that was like an argument that like a 
Igor as an individual and Chris kind of like half the knee, um, politely disagreeing with me about like an article sentence. I don't care what you think anymore, Kirok. You can ask me all the questions you want as long as that, but I don't, I don't care what you, ever you think. I don't care if I become the thing that you hate as well, too. Anyway, continue on. Because I'm going to like uh, change the, I'm going to try Kirok to change the world around you. Just like with the fascists, I can't change the minds of like other fascists as well too. I accepted that there are some liberals I cannot change their minds on as well too. Um, and it's like, yeah, the city is correct. It's capitalism that restricts resources. It's, you don't seem to like a, a realize that like a, in your system that you are a, a, even your softer, a safer version of capitalism that only some people get to be small business owners where others just have to be workers as well too. Would maybe potentially possibly have the dream to be a small business owners, but you are fine with some form of wealth, uh, of wealth disparity or like other, just cl other classes of people like small business owners and workers. Because there has to be some uh, class of workers that work for small business owners. And that denomination right there is one thing I agree with. I disagree with. Uh, that right there is in John just hierarchy small business more small business owners and workers. It just is. It is because the like, small business owner has power over the workers in the small business because like it's despite whatever the workers want is well, those small business owners says, no, we're doing this and it because it's my way or highway. They have the power to like fire and hire people at will. Oh, unless like they don't somehow. Oh, and they have the power to make decisions and and despite uh, against the will of the workers as well. Because what else? Why else be a small business owner? They're able to own the business and have that power. So that's the kind of power a small business owner has, as well as the economic power in the system. Anyway. Um. I forgot where it was. Was okay. Yeah, here we go. We're going to start from here. It is uh, challenging. Uh, back to the document. It's challenging threats from like Republicans to prosecute people who help people, help women, uh, well, people who are at wombs, and help people who have wombs to travel into a different state for abortion care, and helping states expand like access on the Medicaid for women who travel from states with bans. Um, we are safeguarding patients and providers' privacy, including strengthening the like HIPAA protections, cracking down on like illegal sharing of personal information. And strengthen customer you know, like data protections and issuing guidance to protect like student privacy in this area. We are ensuring access to like accurate information and legal uh, references, including by launching reproductiverights.org and, and convening more than 200 lawyers and like advocates to support like abortion relative like legal defense services. You were, you, you still assume that, that basically in the, your society of small business owners that like some people be able to take small business owners, the small business owners, while well, others cannot. And yes, the workers also take risks too in order to like work for small business owners because like the small business owners, they're out of the job too. Maybe what like some um, liberals will never understand about someone like me. I don't see how it is that like we should reward some people who are ambitious. It, like Bob Chipman, Mood Bob, he says this like explicitly. Hey, listen, if someone invents a jetpack or someone like directs an incredible movie or someone like uh, cures cancer or something like that, had he explicitly said that their lives deserve to be better than others. And that's the thing too. I don't agree uh, explicit, I don't like uh, fully agree with the idea that someone deserves to have a better life than others automatically just for an incredible thing they have done. I'm not sure if we need to have to like materially reward people for doing like excellent works in that regard. I, uh, to reward people by just like being friends with them. Reward people by like, I don't know, applause. They they produce a, they they like perform an incredible song, or written an incredible song, or written an awesome book. Give them praise, but that's it. Not unless they give them house. 
Oh, we're getting a bigger house than others. I think that's what like the liberals don't understand. Uh, like uh, someone like me, something like that. I don't think it is that like it's automatic that like some people deserve a better life than others because of how hard. And why should like uh, some billionaires, especially billionaires born in like, the fucking money, deserve a way better life than like an Asim Lin and Belfi? And, and like Kirox wants a cap on billionaires as well too. But like Kirox is still fine with two people who are worth over two hundred million dollars. And Kirok, I'm always going to be saying, why not? Why stop there and why not go further? I'm curious why you're not willing to go further than that. <sighs> anyway, we it, it, this is like a I'm most. In, I'm I want to get back to like the Democratic and National Party convention. I don't want to, I that's why I, I removed the tag AMA on my streams when I'm not like gaming as well too. Like I'm reading an article, or reading an essay, or doing political stuff because I want the conversation to be like focused on like what I'm reading. I I try to do that as best as I can because so at least in the past, whenever I'm in the politics category on Twitch or something like that, there'll be people who come in to just want to have like political arguments with me as well too. Like they're Marxist Leninists and I'm anarchist, and they will ask me questions like why I'm a poor decentralized economy when as opposed to like a centralized planned economy. And what I'm reading about is about indigenous rights or like a uh, police brutality or something like that. And it's just like now sometimes I just kind of ignore some like faith the bad faith like questions about like like when I read like anti work by Bob Black because like there are several people that just believe that no if like everyone just like stopped working or when we work five hours a day or five hours a week and something like that then all society collapse when we can have a post scarcity society and a life of luxury where not everyone has to work forty hours a week in order to like live in order for society to run right now but we don't because of like a yeah stalin this basically uh so I, I didn't ask what this person's like political affiliation was honestly but it's just like you're, you're trying to like make it don't know that my twitch stream is not the uh, my twitch stream when we're doing politics is not your venue to have political discussions some people just like just on, honestly just want nothing but that as well too but they treat a the, uh, most like political streams to be that as well though. so that's why i tried to like uh, listen let's have i think i haven't even have this command At least, like, save my politics and, and that sort of thing, too. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, political trains are ever meant to be like more interest focused with special attention and paid to like the needs of marginalized people rather than the uh, affiliation focus, uh, or like than just reading political news and not. So, yeah, basically, my political trains are not your debate stages because like so many people will go to like other political streams and like treat it as uh, the, the debate stage because the, the other streamers still allow that to happen. Um, anyway, continue on. The contrast between President Biden and Trump is stark. Trump uh, handpicked like the Supreme Justices he knew would overturn Roe, saying he would overturn automatically. He said that he is proudly the person responsible for overturning Roe and will continue to brag about it. Trump is responsible for more than like a 20 state bans that are now in effect as a result. And he has said that like women should be like punished for like getting an abortion and that like states should be like able to punish doctors who provide them. If he returns to the White House, Trump ban will ban abortion nationwide and will like and his allies to plan to ban medical abortions nationwide without Congress or the courts and by enforcing laws from the 1800s, including prosecuting like women and doctors for sending or receiving medication and the medical abortion in the mail. Nine in ten women have like used contraceptives and Democrats are also working to expand as guys to birth control. Um, I wish that like in, uh, schools are not like teaching abstinence only as well too, because uh, like that's that's what leads to a lot of unwanted pregnancies because abstinence only education, social education just doesn't work, and because like you can try to like uh, put the fear in God into like uh, teenagers that like no you will go and like uh, die if you have sex and something like that, but once they finally have sex they'll say like oh it's not that bad and then they're just like born in Cape Breath rabbits like like the stereotype is. So, absence only sexual education is just like doesn't work, and I hope like um, the Democrats will work to like um, prohibit like the those uh, school districts from like doing only absence only like sexual education. 
and weirdly enough, my mom got sexual education from like a priest. To be fair, she like grew up in like sixties and seventies in a small town in like the Midwest. Like as Cassandra said in Associates to Alchemy, it's not like nice West or okay West. It is Midwest. I love that. Anyway. Uh, continue on. Under President Biden's leadership, the FDA uh, approved the first over-the-counter the dairy oil contraceptive, making like birth control easy and, and easier than ever to access. I probably still like privacy, but like that's part of a whole course of like other issues as well too. Um, because I think like um, over-the-counter like uh, allergy medicine that I take, like a Claritin or a Claritin substitute as well too, uh, is there. Um, I mean, it's not the most expensive thing. Um, is not the cheapest thing either, but it's just like I, I, I know it'd be nice if it's like cheaper. I guess would be the thing, and it'd be nice if the birth control is kind of cheaper too. I mean, imagine I, I did work at a gas station. We did sell condoms. How cheap is condoms are? Continue on. Uh, President Biden has also like built on the Affordable Care Act and like make broader like a range of uh, contraceptives available to women at no cost to their health insurance. Okay, yeah, so there you go. Uh, expand that to like all people as well too, not just like women, because there are many people in wombs that are not just women. But blah. Uh, the administration has like bolstered access to like a free and low cost like services through the Title X. Um, is that supposed to be Title Ten? Is are they using Roman numerals? I guess uh, Title X or Title X, um, through the Title X uh, family planning uh, program and expanded access to like birth control for service members uh, through the VA. Uh, but Kane, when uh, like they saw the parts about the B VA uh, before in a previous stream, <laughs> it's like, oh, she's just, Kane does not believe that like the Democrats are going to do anything about the VA or improve the VA and anything else so because the VA is kind of still kind of is the shit show and stuff like that. I'm going to trust Kane on this because they actually, ex he has actually experienced it in the Directly as well too, and I'm sure there's problems with the VA. There was problems with the VA under like uh, Barack Obama. How much of that was like uh, his own doing, or like uh, him not getting like help from like the Republicans from uh, after the 2010 midterms, something like that. I'm not sure, but still, the VA is a shit show. VA is a shit show that I can believe. Get you on. Trump's remarks on contraceptives could not be like more different. Trump undermined access to contraception as president, decreasing access for billions, and, and by sabotaging the Title X family planning grant program and weakening the ACA's uh, coverage mandate. His allies have like punished like uh, plans to like further attack access to contraception through executive action, including by further undermining women's uh, issue. Uh, insurance coverage for birth control and reducing access to condoms and emergency contraception. The Supreme Court eliminations of the protection of Roe has also also had devastating consequences for families who have suffered the heartbreak of infertility. Uh, this is probably what I already talked about before as well too that like women that were forced to have births because of like the um abortion laws in their states as well too when they have the trigger laws and such uh they were forced to have to give birth to their um non-viable like fetuses or like childs or children or babies and then like suffer infertility consequences like that just at this part so okay continue on uh president biden vice president Sanders, and democrats are committed to restoring productive um reproductive rights um trump ripped away with them with like a the Democratic Congress we passed national legislation to make Roe the law of the land. And again, we strengthen access to like contraception so every woman who needs it, who needs it is able to like, get it and afford it. We will protect a uh, women's right to, to access IVF. Uh, again, not just women have women's, but like blah. Um, we will appeal the Hyde Amendment. Uh, and in the second term, this is the third time in this document. No one appropriate this, or is it like they? So maybe this was written before Biden dropped out. Okay. It's because like, yeah, Biden's not getting in his second term. He dropped out. In his second term, we'll ignore that for now. President Biden will continue to support the FDA's approved uh, medication and abortion and uh, appoint leaders at the FDA who respect the sincere uh, and appoint judges who uphold uh, who, uh, the FDA who respects uh, uh, appoint leaders at the FDA who respect science. I read that as sincere. I just looks brains like that. Do on and appoint judges who uphold fundamental freedoms. 
So I think we should all wait a minute. That's the third time in the uh, for what did this document? Third time in this document, they're saying in his second term, alluding that President Biden is still run, running for the president of the United States and is running for his second term. And still alluding that if President Biden gets elected for his second term, Biden will do this in his second term. They mentioning the third time that they mentioned Biden's second term. Maybe I could just like do control a fine. At the end, when I finish this, I'll try to remember to do this, but I want to control a fine second term, see how many times that like second term has come up in relation to President Biden. Uh, they could have, it, they, uh, maybe they, they just like didn't have time to like the talk to Kamala Harris and see she would also do the same things that President Biden would do in his second term. So, uh, I don't know, yeah. 